Ah uh, yes, millennials. Everyone loves talking about them, so here's another video doing just that. But before we jump right into it, remember as always to drop a like, comment, and hit the subscribe and bell button for more amazing content. You probably know from all these news articles and reports complaining about the avocado toast addictions that millennials are the young people born between 1981 to 1996, so around ages 23 to 38 now. I myself a proud member of this generation, although I'm one of the younger millennials and I don't want to expose my age on the world wide web. We are becoming the largest part of the population in more and more countries now, so move over boomers. So this is our time to shine, right? Well, we know that in general, so far we're broke, well educated and quite optimistic. If we think about this rationally, even the youngest millennials have witnessed some things, adding to their long list of woes besides not having enough avocado toast or god forbid the Wi-Fi being spotty. Even the youngest of the millennials like myself will have somewhat clear memories of several instances of historic or unprecedented times, unprecedented, precedented times, even though if they keep happening over and over again, are they really unprecedented anymore? To name a few of these historic events we would have seen and lived through include SARS, Ebola, swine flu, Kony 2012, yes we really thought an African warlord was going to kidnap us all, 08, 09, great financial crisis, or subprime mortgage crisis, or great recession, or whatever you want to call it. A whole list of natural disasters that are simply too long to list, from monstrous droughts to forest fires. And now 2020, the great pandemic and great recession part 2, and maybe even the first depression since 1930s. Some of these events such as 08 and 09 and now 2020 have the potential to set back young people for years given record unemployment and socio-economic restructuring at a large scale. So it all makes sense why millennials are so anxious and all doom and gloom all the time, right? Well, not really. Despite even the youngest millennials having lived through all this that I mentioned, they're generally an optimistic bunch. Maybe we have reality TV to blame for that. Thanks Jersey Shore with your six whole seasons. Surveys and polls show that, and this is according to a brief put out by the Bentley University in the States, mind you, this does not reflect any changes in sentiment by the great global pandemic since the Spanish flu of 1918, but we will see if that changes some of this optimism. Even as joblessness among young adults hit record highs, 8 in 10 millennials say that's a whole 80% that either currently they have enough money to lead their lives or they want, how they want, or expect to do so in the future. The youngest among them, according to a recent Gallup poll, 80% of millennials ages 18 to 29, so once again, 8 out of 10, feel positive about their future and say their standard of living is improving. The millennials also called optimistic generation state in several surveys that they will do a lot better than their parents and others think. And that's kind of funny because there's other surveys showing how older people don't think they'll do that great. And they talk about innovation, the millennials. And a recent study by Kaufman Foundation shows that 54%, so that's more than half, either want to start their own company or, or already have. So millennials are actually responsible for 160,000 startups a month, according to a study by US Chamber of Commerce. So no wonder they can't find jobs, they're all busy with their startups or a gazillion side hustles. So yes, in a nutshell, millennials remain optimistic about how well they will do in the future, well at least financially, and given the conveniences in life that millennials enjoy thanks to digital technologies, this optimism might make sense. Remember that during the 1918 Spanish flu, 
You could not order delicious takeout at the click of a button delivered to your door in minutes. You would have to wait for days to get some telegraph, or even worse, pigeons, instead of sending a DM with a bunch of emojis which take a few seconds to type in. Not to say that technology and its over-reliance does not have its own set of issues, such as attachment to that shiny new smartphone and AirPods to do your work, or even now that work following you everywhere you go, and this inability to in reality disconnect or really disconnect or unplug. Does anybody really do that anymore? But in general, millennials would say we do in some ways have it much better than before, maybe a hundred years ago, fifty years or more, and some great tools at our disposal to deal with whatever misfortune or natural disasters or any disasters for that matter that the world might throw at us. So there you have it, inside the mind of a millennial. Come join me next week for more great content. Hit the subscribe and bell button. Take care.